Hello everyone and welcome back to another album review. In this video I'm going to review Music for Menus by Plank Pansy. This is a brand new album of Plank Pansy in which it seems like he goes into approaches and styles that would have to do with like menu music. Now this could lead to so many different ways, but basically you get aesthetics and approaches that you would expect in regards to vaporwave music. Black Bansy was one of the most well-known artists in the time, emerging from the vaporwave scene in the early 2010s. Since that point his style has somewhat changed over the years and this is something that we see with this brand new album over here. It is an album that touches towards the aesthetics that have to do with like retro technology, old school soundscapes and basically creating a euphoric and soothing feeling through all those works which is basically something that you could get in terms of like menu music this album could definitely feel appropriate in situations like that and in my opinion music for menus in particular achieves this greatly more so than any other album i've heard that of blank bansy and i feel that this is pretty interesting since this album ends up going to a much more of an upbeat direction this is a pretty minimal really straightforward and just quite soothing album, which seems kind of contradictory in comparison to what we knew Black Bansy for, since the main stick would be that he would have those vaporwave aesthetics but incorporated with trap beats attached to them. And this made for some really cool and refreshing results, which I ended up enjoying with some of the first albums going into this direction of vapor trap. But when it came to some ambient releases, which we saw over the past couple of years, I was disappointed with those types of works as in my opinion they ended up feeling really boring and not really offering that much to them they were really underwhelming in my opinion so i didn't get into this album in particular with high expectations considering that i haven't really enjoyed that greatly the past releases of blank pansy but i was pleasantly surprised with this one not only is this a pretty solid ambient album I would say that this is definitely one of the greatest works out of the entire Blank Bansy catalog, if not the best. I feel that some of the tracks over here managed to capture greatly than anything else before this whole aesthetic of what can make vaporwave music so appealing. It is so smooth and nice to listen to. The euphoria oozes throughout this album, it's filled with joy. And the thing is that this is gonna be an underrated and hidden gem because at this point, Black Bansy is not that much of a relevant artist. He basically reads his peak with the very first album, which at this point, it's 10 years ago. And it's not like albums like Black Bansy 1 and Mega didn't gain popularity, but it never reached the point of the first album. But especially when it comes nowadays we don't see that much of a relevance when it comes to Black Bansy. I don't really see people talking about him and I would say that lack of relevance carries throughout the entire vaporwave genre as well. It reached its peak in the early 2010s and it's not like the genre currently is completely forgotten. I mean we still get works out of Death's dynamic shroud that gain some popularity but I think that those latest works don't really have the label of vaporwave that much attached to them. Blank Bansy on the other hand doesn't have that much of a similar fate because unfortunately this would mean that not many people would know of the existence of this album. This will end up being an album only for those who would keep up with the journey and keep listening to anything Black Pansy has to put out. For me this album is really worth it though. This is one of the greatest accomplishments in regards to the Black Pansy catalog and definitely if you can categorize this as a vaporwave album this is certainly one of the most compelling works I've heard in the genre in a very long time. Right off the year go we get this extremely beautiful introduction with Home, a nice minimal track that mostly contains those harmonic string sections, there are big portions of silence with those melodies building up and just creating a very nice atmosphere overall. A really solid introduction followed with the track Menu 1, which in this one we get an extremely minimal and beautiful ambient piece, which in my opinion just gets the job done. It doesn't really need that much more beyond that. I feel that the whole melody and the way it's done it's compelling. I like the scenes that it contains and in my opinion it succeeds in what it tries to create. The track menu to ends up being one of the most unique moments in this project as 
I feel that this is the one track that goes the closest into some of the approaches that we would get with the first Black Band Seaworks. The only thing that's missing is a trap beat, but I think that this is one of the most overwhelming tracks, having the most going on to it. And it basically uses some sounds which, if you are familiar with older works from Blank Pansy, then you're gonna get some pretty similar aesthetics. It has a signature sound that, in my opinion, works pretty nice over here, as most of the elements here end up feeling really well put together. This is a nicely structured track. Beyond that point, I think that the album sort of gets kind of repetitive, as it would mostly repeat those approaches that we got with the first three songs throughout the rest of the album. But despite its repetitive nature, I expected to get bored much sooner, which wasn't really that much of the case. Actually, I ended up feeling that this is a pretty engaging album, that even if it's a bit longer than what I would prefer, it actually ended up containing many great elements. And I think that we get some other solid tracks as the album moves on, most notably the track Menu 4, which in my opinion is one of the most imaginative tracks Blank Bansy has ever done. This is one of the greatest compositions. I love the minimalism out of this one, and I think that all of the sounds, the way they're put together, makes for a really beautiful result. I like how soothing this track is, and overall it's a really well-structured and well-paced track. The album beyond that point keeps having some solid elements to it, but like I said, it ends up recycling some sounds that we heard from previous songs, and just putting them in some different melodies. I think the most notable example of this is the track Menu 8, which at this point of the album, this track basically feels like it borrows every single element out of the previous song, Songs and just compiling them into one, but also containing what I would consider the most forgettable melody out of the album. There is the final song settings, which kinda goes into similar directions with the string sections out of the track Home. It has some interesting melodies to it, but I think that the most underwhelming thing about the track is its length, as it ends up being a pretty long track and it doesn't really change all that much. It's mostly the same thing, and I mean, all of the tracks are mostly one dimensional and basically looping themselves with the same melodies playing over and over again, but I think that the track lengths of the first tracks feel a bit more appropriate in comparison to what we get with the track settings, or with like Menu 6, which in my opinion contains some of the strongest elements in the album, but I feel that after a certain point it becomes a bit boring and kinda more repetitive than what I want to. I think that if it was cut out a bit shorter, it would possibly be more compelling, in my opinion at least. So, Blank Pansy in 2022? Yeah, why not? Considering that I wasn't really that much of a fan of the previous Abbott works, I ended up feeling really pleased with this one. This, in my opinion, is one of my favorite Blank Pansy releases. I really think that this is a quite solid Abbott album that it's worth your attention. I'm gonna give Music for Menus a 7 plus out of 10. What's your opinion on this album? Like it, dislike it, why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.